Otto's Tales. Today, September 11th. Ruff, ruff. Today is September 11th, a tragic day in our nation's history. It's important to never forget what happened that fateful day in 2001. We also remember how the country came together, strong and united, after facing adversity. Dennis climbed to the top of the kitchen counter. This is our big red fire truck, he said. I'm on top of the ladder. It can be our time machine, I barked. There's lots to learn on our next adventure, Dennis said. Let's roll. Zoom. We traveled back to New York City. A lovely morning, I said. Sure is pretty. A September day, the sky bright blue. Lots of people at work with lots of business to do. At the World Trade Center, we plan to spend several hours. There's a spectacular view at the top of the Twin Towers. A day like all others, we had nothing to dread. We stopped for a snack in the plaza. Dennis patted my head. Just as we finished our yummy treat, a sound was heard by everyone on the street. Look there, said Dennis. What's that up in the sky? It was a plane flying low that should have been high. The plane hit one of the twin towers in a fiery flash. There was a huge explosion and a deafening crash. We all stood shocked, trying to find out what to do. Was America under attack? No one quite knew. And then shortly after, the other tower was hit by plane number two. The first responders that came were so brave. They thought only of the people their efforts might save. They ran toward the buildings as smoke filled the air. They displayed great courage, a trait exceedingly rare. There were people helping each other all over the place. They were young and old men and women of every ethnicity, creed, and race. So grateful were we for the good all the people tried to do. We climbed into our fire truck, waved and called out, Thank you! On to the White House, Dennis said, and zoom! We found ourselves inside an oval-shaped room. President George W. Bush addressed the nation that night. He said, this is a day when all Americans unite. Dennis chimed in, we saw so many people today doing good. Americans helping each other in any way they could. In the days that followed, American flags filled the sky. The country came together and we know the reason why. We waved goodbye to President Bush jumped back into our fire truck and gave it a big push. Zoom! Dennis shouted. To the future we go, driving the fire truck with me in tow. We returned to New York on another 11th of September. The city built a 9-11 memorial to help us remember. The place where the tower stood is now called Ground Zero. People were there to honor the fallen, both victims and heroes. There was a lot at the memorial to learn and to see, including what happened that day at the Pentagon and on Flight 93. Look, I said, pointing at those two beams of light. Dennis said, that's a shining tribute lit up every year on this night. It's September 11th, Otto. We call it Patriot Day. I said, the tribute in light is an inspiring display. Then we hopped into our fire truck and once again zoom. Sirens blasted wee -oo, wee -oo, back to Dennis's room. That was a very important adventure, I said. Why is that, Otto? Well, I never knew about the September 11th and why we must never forget what happened that day. And the Americans came together even stronger after that terrible attack, I said. That's right, said Dennis. 
many people acted heroically that day. Our firefighters, police officers, and first responders displayed the best of America, land of the free and home of the brave. We will never forget them, I barked. And we will never forget September 11th. God bless Patriot Day. God bless Patriot Day. We will never forget. Roof! Roof! <laughs>